I'm just so trendy holding a pumpkin. Maybe this will be the thumbnail. Welcome to the fall edition of Beautiful Spaces by Woodness Goodness. Maybe if I sit like this, it'll look kind of cool. Maybe I'll hold a pumpkin too. What's up guys? Welcome to Woodness Goodness. I am Graham, your host and virtual friend. If you don't already know, we are building a cabin. And it's kind of special this week because we are nearing our one year anniversary from the time I broke ground on this here cabin site. Unfortunately, I will not be able to finish it within a year's time because I have at least a couple more weeks left of work to do. We finished trimming out the windows last episode. You guys really know what looks good. And um, you're right, these windows look incredible. I'm very proud of them. But today, we are going to finish up the windows when it comes to the trim because the six hopper windows, as tradition would have it, I forgot that I had those six windows and I didn't buy enough pine, but I have enough pine now. So we're gonna whitewash the pine and then finish trimming out my six hopper windows on the south side of the cabin. Um, other than that, we are nearing the end, folks. We are nearing the end of this cabin build, which is great. I am. I ordered two lights for the window wall. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do for the, the center light or if I'm gonna do a ceiling fan or whatnot, I, I don't know. And then I am deciding on a flooring. We're gonna do a hardwood floor. Uh, it's either gonna be solid wood or engineered, I'm not sure. Uh, there's a couple cool options out there. I'm not made of money, so uh, I, that has also you know, a bit to play in my decision making. I was originally gonna consider some vinyl plank, but vinyl plank is not real wood, even though it looks great and it's very durable and waterproof. With natural wood, you don't get repetitive, you know, grains or lines or knots in your pieces of flooring. And besides, this is woodness goodness, and we appreciate wood because ultimately, wood is good. Without further ado, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, gals and gurus, and say it with me, let's get after it, baby.
finished the window trim. It looks incredible. It looks absolutely phenomenal. So now, this is something I was considering doing, but a couple of you fine folks also chimed in and mentioned, you know, some trim up here would look really nice between basically the ceiling and the wall just to get rid of these, you know, the gaps because obviously I'm a semi-professional amateur and I try and find gaps in my work. We're going to go ahead and put some trim between the roof rafters up against the wall just to cover up, you know, the, the transition between the wall and the ceiling. Okay, that trim on the ceiling looks real fly. It ties everything together. Um, there's a couple spots where I made cuts that I might have to just put a little whitewash on those. But I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna do that BTS, which is behind the scenes. Because you guys only have so much time, I only have so much time, and I don't wanna waste any of your time because your time is valuable, just like my own. And thus, I will whitewash it later. So, we're going to put our outlet covers and light switch cover. I only got one light switch in this cabin. We're gonna put the covers and fix up and make sure all our outlooks look prim and proper. And uh, maybe some other little things here and there. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? took too long and like I said time is valuable we only have so much time on this planet and it's about making the most of it okay whether that's what you spend your time watching what you spend your time doing and ultimately who you spend your time with so let us not waste thy time watching me put outlet covers on my walls okay no, that was dark, but we had to go there.
All right, guys. Window trim on the inside is pretty done. It's done. I'm pretty sure. That's what pretty done means. Um, so, I'm now in this stretch where I'm waiting for flooring. I, uh, I've sort of put an order in for flooring. I have yet to hear back uh, because any hardware flooring store most of the time if you see something you like, well it's a special order. Um, anyhow, not sure why that's the case, but that's the case. So we're dealing with it. There's a couple things we still got to do on the outside, believe it or not, to wrap this baby up. I am going to put a little trim board, I don't know the technical term for it, but basically this little thing on the underside of this window trim. So we're gonna go ahead and put that up because it's a beautiful day out. I'm in t-shirt and shorts and we can then paint the window trim this same iron or color as you know the rest of the painted parts of the cabin. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> we're just gonna get after it like we always do. Even though we don't always feel like getting after it, we know that it's like a vitamin, like vitamin C, vitamin D. It's very important and you have to do it because if you don't get after it, well, the disease of dragging your heels and the disease of depression, anxiety, and sadness kick in and will scar you for the rest of your life. It's real. It's real, folks. So I, have, I had a one by six. I ripped it in half, so now I have two more pieces. Then I ripped it thickness-wise again, so I have four pieces out of one piece. I didn't do that because I wanted more pieces and I'm cheap, even though those are all good reasons to have done what I did. I uh, realized because of the thickness of the three layers of cedar, you know, the bottom trim piece that I'm installing would be thicker and come out from the wall further than the bottom of the window sill trim here thing, majiggy. <laughs> And you don't want that. So if water hits it, well, you want it to not get stuck between those pieces. So I ripped it again. Now we have a nice half inch piece of pressure treated. It's gonna look excellent. We're gonna go ahead and mount that with my here staples. Oh, 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 just about died.
All right, guys, I'm a little wet. I just came from outside. We were going to finish the painting. We're gonna paint the rest of the trim on the outside and make it look absolutely beautiful, but it's slamming rain and that just can't happen today. So, I wanna quickly talk about this thing beside me. This is the Blue Eddy EB150. It is a solar generator. Graham, what's a solar generator? Great question. Well, a regular generator typically runs off some sort of fossil fuel to create electricity. A solar generator can be charged by the sun. So this is a fantastic off-grid kind of uh, sustainable energy source when plugged into solar panels. This is 1500 watt hours and runs 1000 watts. So you've got two AC plugs, a bunch of USB ports, you've got USB-C which is great if you're a MacBook user, you've got regular 12 volt and you can plug in your solar panels like up to 600 watts and get this baby charged in lickety split. Why am I talking about this Blue Eddy solar generator? Well, Blue Eddy was kind enough to send this to me because I have a project, the next project after this cabin, that I'm going to try and build completely using this as my power source. How will I do that? Well, I'll take my trusty batteries here for my battery operated tools um, not sponsored by Milwaukee hopefully they see this and they start sending me some tools my way but anyhow so this is going to be the brains of my next build both building it and it will eventually be the power source of the next thing I build here's the deal you're going to get to know this bad boy a lot more in the next build but for now if you're interested in this, use the link in the description below. It's an Amazon link, and there is a current coupon code going for like $100 to $200 off, depending on which model you buy. So, be sure to check it out. And once again, thanks Bluetti for uh, sending me this bad boy. It will be used very well, and I'll be sure to take good care of it. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you dug what you saw. And... Uh, Hope you guys are well. Love you all. Peace out.